We've actually changed our mission over the years. Uh, when I first joined, our mission was simple. It was to help our customers grow. It's kind of interesting. The first, the first two years I was there, uh, when we were setting our company goals, we didn't have a company goal for our revenue. That wasn't a factor. Our company goal was revolving around how much money our customers make that's directly attributable to us. That's our North Star. And so, for instance, every company meeting, we would start with what that number is every week without fail. In team meetings, again, that's the North Star. So that's how, how we would orient ourselves. So what this meant was that the customer success team, they, you know, you know teams have quarterly business reviews. We, we termed them quarterly growth reviews because we were helping our customers grow. <laughs> we wanted to reinforce that. And, and so our customer success team, they, they were being measured on how much they helped their customers grow. And the product team on the same hand, you know, all oriented around, okay, how can we help our customers grow? And so because the teams were aligned, and I think you, you touched on something really important here, Sansi, because in some environments, there isn't the same level of alignment and it can be a lot more challenging. That's not to say it's easy. It's still, it's still challenging because the, 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 the scope of reference for the teams is a little different. The scope of reference for the customer success team are the customers. The scope of reference for a product team is broader than that because it needs to look at the people who are not customers yet. And it could even potentially be looking at other segments or you know, um, other solutions.